Hey, Brian from Snake Bites here. A while back, we started off the python and boa breeding season. We're gonna go ahead and give you guys an update where we're at and what we do during this time of the year. You're watching Snake Bites. So we're about halfway through the boa and python breeding season and we're really paying a lot of attention to ball pythons this year. We have a lot of animals to breed and a ton of really cool projects. All kinds of different combinations that we're really excited about. Monday through Friday we're switching males into different females cages each and every day. We switch them in the morning, check for copulation. If they are copulating with a female, of course we leave them alone for the rest of the day. Then they get moved the following day. After we move them, we typically leave them alone for the rest of the day so hopefully they'll end up hooking up. It's really important this time of year that each and every female gets bred by a male, especially one with advanced follicle growth. One of the things we'll do if a female doesn't seem to be having any interest in breeding with a male is we'll sometimes throw an additional female in that has been breeding well. Sometimes it seems to rub off on her and that male will then have interest in the male that's not breeding. Again, it's very important this time of the year to get these animals bred because it's a really short window of time that we have left before the end of the breeding season. So about every four weeks, we wanna make sure to get in here and ultrasound these females because most females will grow anywhere from one millimeter to four millimeters of follicle growth. About halfway through the season, you're looking at about 10 millimeters is where you wanna be. And it's gonna take about two to three months before they hit that 35 to 40 millimeter mark when they're actually gonna ovulate. So we basically just take out these animals as we go. And this animal was ultrasounded about three weeks ago. She had about five millimeters worth of follicle. So we're just gonna check and see if she's got any follicle growth from them and see what happens. Basically what we want to do is find the gallbladder which is that big black spot right there and then right along it you're gonna see the oviduct. Now you can see these follicles right here. We just freeze frame once we find the follicles and then we're able to actually put our measure right on it. We put the cursor on it, we go across and she's at about eight millimeters which means she's grown about three millimeters in the last three to four weeks which is actually fantastic. That means she's right on pace at about a millimeter a week. She'll actually usually explode once they hit about 15 millimeters they'll actually start growing at three, four, even five millimeters a week. So she's ready to go. We need to get her back into breeding for sure. We're gonna check another animal that was about 10 millimeters a few weeks ago and see what she's done. Hopefully she's getting to that stage where she starts to really advance. This is actually a pinstripe. She's being bred to a chocolate pin. And again, what we're gonna do is just take this ultrasound, gonna find that gallbladder. In this case, we don't even need to because you can see the follicles really close right there. And you can see, I can already tell you, she's got some growth. We're gonna take our cursor, put it right on the edge of the follicle, go across, and sure enough, she's got 15 millimeters worth of follicles and uh, that's exactly what we wanted to see. She grew almost five millimeters in the last week. Again, about a millimeter and a half a week. She's gonna start to grow a lot quicker over the next several weeks. Again, we're gonna get her back in with the chocolate pin male. And we go and we do this in every single female, making sure that the follicles are growing and the copulation is there. And within another month and a half, two months, three months at the most, we should get ovulations. And then it's 50 days till eggs. There's nothing more exciting to a reptile breeder than to see snakes breed, and there's certainly a lot of that going on this time of year. Now those follicles just mean the females are ready to breed and that they're starting to grow the seeds basically to what will eventually become eggs. At 45 to 50 millimeters, that's when they're gonna really ovulate, and at that point they actually become real snake eggs. That's when the male sperm actually fertilizes the female and you're gonna actually start getting a little baby snake in the egg. They're about 50 days away from laying after that and then 60 days from there, you're gonna have baby snakes. Hey, Cal. What's up? Check out this text. Do you recognize the number? No, dude. No, me either. Hey, sexy schwanz? Yeah, I don't know who it is though. I, I, I think it might be that redhead from the bar. I gave her she my was number. Hot. Yeah. Well, what about the blonde from the gym? You gave uh, her. I, I did give her my number too. Or the chick from McDonald's, that brunette. She yeah. Was hot. Uh, what should I do? Well, I don't know. They're all hot. Just like be discreet about it and just try to figure out who it is. All right, I'm just gonna go text her back. I'll be. I'll be right back. I'll let you know. All right, dude. Hey, girl. What have you been up to? Question mark. Cal, 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 Cal. It's the, it's definitely the redhead from the bar. Look. OMG, I am so hungover from last night. 
Yeah, you did. You met her at the bar. Yeah, that's gotta dude, be she, her, dude. It's gotta be her. <laughs> dude, she was hot, dude. I know. She's doing for Valentine's Day. Oh, that is a good idea. Hold on, I'll be right back. Right. I'm sorry to hear you're so hungover. What are you doing for Valentine's Day? <sighs> Cal? She just sent me a cleaver shot. Check this out. Look. No way. Look. Holy. Think, nice, dude. I think there's a little hair right there. No, it's it's a dude. It's a cell phone picture. Oh, low yeah, resolution. I guess you're right. So what what do I do now? Well, I mean, dude, it's the art of sexting. You gotta send a revealing photo of yourself. It's the only way to do it, dude. You're you're in, man. Like I gotta show her my junk. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. What's up? Dude, it's on. I sent her a picture of the junk. Now she wants to see me tonight, but. Yeah. I need to borrow your car. No, it's a new car. You're not taking it. It's 2010. She can pick you up. Women do that nowadays. But, right. dude, have her pick you up at like 6 o'clock. Get an early start to the night. That's we know right. she's, she's, she's a big drinker. Work. So what? She's a big drinker. By the time at midnight rolls around, you're all ready to go. All right, I'll let her know. And she's hot, so she's worth it. Okay, I'll take it. All right, cool. Dude, I'm out. Yeah. Home. yeah. All right. Well, she's gonna be here in like five minutes. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about that. Good luck, man. That's Thanks. sweet. I'm stoked. Well, just let me know how it goes. All right, I will. Text me or something. All right. Dude, she's about to be here. You gotta go. Dude, there's no chick, okay? New ride, new phone. I got your ass. <laughs> You're not that popular. Why would you do that? Get your pretty boy <laughs> car. I'm not gonna leave you alone on Valentine's Day. Dude, Sucker. That's hope. <laughs> For this week's comment of the week on the Snake Bites Chewy episode, the question was Have you ever misread body language and what resulted? Timmy705 said, the best example of misread body language is when I met my girlfriend. She acted really uninterested and quite cold towards me. It really threw me off because I was really attracted to her, but she seemed to ignore my advances. We hung out a lot of times together before I recalled what my mom told me as a child. If a girl acts like she really doesn't like you or teases you, it means she likes you, and it couldn't have been more true. Well, I'm glad it worked out for you in that case, but remember, no means no. Until next time, you guys keep sending me creative comments. I'm going to feature you on a future episode. Hi right, guys, it's Cal's Crush of the Week. Now obviously Valentine's Day is coming up. You know, some people love Valentine's Day, love taking that one day, spending with their loved one. Other people think it's just a made up holiday, just a hallmark holiday, spending money on chocolate, spending money on flowers, spending money on dinner. It's just a waste of time. I want your guys' opinion. Text me or comment below. Let me know what you think. So there it is. That's where we're at with the python season right now. It's about halfway through the breeding season for us, so we still have a couple months at least to go before we start to warm things up. We're hoping that the follicle growth and ovulation and egg production is really fantastic this year. With all the neat projects we have going on, we're really excited about it. And by the way, I do keep snakes and I do vote. If you guys want to get a shirt like this, I'm going to put a link in the sidebar. Until next time, you've been watching Snake Bites.